until recently there has never been a way to send communication signals between air and water MIT researchers have taken a step towards solving it that is enabling direct data transmission between underwater and airborne devices Today underwater sensors cannot share data with those on land as both use different wireless signals that only work in their respective mediums Radio signals that travel through air die very rapidly in water Acoustic signals or sonar sent by underwater devices mostly reflect off the surface without ever breaking through. This causes inefficiencies and other issues for a variety of applications such as ozone exploration and submarine to plane communication. MIT Media Lab researchers have designed a system that tackles this problem in a novel way. An underwater transmitter directs a sonar signal to the water surface causing tiny vibrations that correspond to the ones and zeros transmitted above the surface a highly sensitive receiver reads these minute disturbances and decodes the sonar signal the system called the translational acoustic rf communication tarf is still in its early stages but it represents a milestone that could open new capabilities in water air communications using the system military submarines for instance wouldn't need to surface to communicate with airplanes compromising their location and underwater drones that monitor marine life wouldn't need to constantly resurface from deep dives to send data to researchers another promising application is aiding searches for planes that go missing underwater Today's technological workarounds to this wireless communication issue suffer from various drawbacks. Boys, for instance, have been designed to pick up sonar waves, process the data, and shoot radio signals to airborne receivers. But these can drift away and get lost. Many are also required to cover large areas, making them impractical. TAF includes an underwater acoustic transmitter that sends sonar signals using a standard acoustic speaker. The signals travel as pressure waves of different frequencies corresponding to different data bits. For example, when the transmitter wants to send a zero, it can transmit a wave traveling at 100 Hz. For a one, it can transmit a 200 Hz wave. When the signal hits the surface it causes tiny ripples in the water only a few micrometers in height corresponding to those frequencies to achieve high data rates the system transmits multiple frequencies at the same time building on a modulation scheme used in wireless communication called orthogonal frequency division multiplexing this lets the researchers transmit hundreds of bits at once position in the air above the transmitter is a new type of extremely high frequency radar that processes signals in the millimeter wave spectrum of wireless transmission between 30 and 300 gigahertz the radar which looks like a pair of cones transmits a radio signal that reflects off the vibrating surface and rebounds back to the radar due to the way the signal collides with the surface vibrations the signal returns with a slightly modulated angle that corresponds exactly to the data bit sent by the sonar signal A vibration on the water surface representing a zero bit for instance will cause the reflected signal's angle to vibrate at 100 Hz. A key challenge was helping the radar detect the water surface. To do so, the researchers employed a technology that detects reflections in an environment and organizes them by distance and power. As water has the most powerful reflection in the new system's environment, The radar knows the distance to the surface. Once that is established, it zooms in on the vibrations at that distance, ignoring all other nearby disturbances. The next major challenge was capturing micrometer waves surrounded by much larger natural waves. The smallest ozone ripples on calm days called capillary waves are only about 2 cm tall, but that is 100,000 times larger than the vibrations. Rougher seas can create waves 1 million times larger. This interferes with the tiny acoustic vibration at the water surface. To solve this, the researchers developed sophisticated signal processing algorithms. Natural waves occur at about 1 or 2 hertz or a wave or two moving over the signal area every second. 
The sonar vibrations of 100 to 200 hertz, however, are a hundred times faster. Because of this frequency differential, the algorithm zeroes in on the fast moving waves while ignoring the slower ones. The researchers took TARS through 500 test runs in a water tank and in two different swimming pools on MIT's campus. In the tank, the radar was placed at ranges from 20 cm to 40 cm above the surface and the sonar transmitter was placed from 5 cm to 70 cm below the surface. In the pools, the radar was positioned about 30 cm above the surface while the transmitter was immersed about 3.5 meters below. In these experiments, the researchers also had swimmers creating waves that rose to about uh, 16 centimeters. In both settings, TARF was able to accurately decode various data such as sentence hello from underwater at 100 sub bits per second, similar to standard data rates for underwater communications.